Hey everyone, I'm making a twin stick shooter survivor game using my own engine and most recently I have introduced 2D lights. The way I'm developing my engine is that I focus on only implementing the features I need for my game. So the lighting solution I went with is specifically tailored to the needs of the game. For example, I need a solution that can handle over a thousand light sources since I want every enemy to emit a small amount of light. The thing I don't have in this game are light sources with a very big radius. So because of this I don't have to worry that much about shadows. So I chose a solution that can handle a lot of light sources but doesn't cast any shadows. So I did some research and found this snippet about screen space light maps and I took some inspiration from that. The idea is to render the light sources onto a separate texture and then overlay them in the end on top of everything. So when I remove the light overlay you can see the unlit version of the game. In the overlay texture I start with a alpha value of 0.7 and then every light source reduces the alpha value which means you get to see more of the original base color. And they also add some light coloration to the overlay to simulate the color of the light source. This process is relatively simple and you could do this in any engine if they don't already have a solution for this. So let's look in RenderDoc how one frame of the game is rendered. RenderDoc lets you step through each draw call and gives you detailed information about what's happening at each step. So in the first color pass I render all the light sources. You can see that the alpha value is lower in the lit areas. I basically have two draw calls for each light source because I adjust the alpha value and the coloration of the texture separately. I haven't really found a good way to do this in one step yet because I need different blending factors for these steps. But you can see that compared to rendering the rest of the game, it takes a relatively small amount of time to render this texture. So I think it's fine to do it this way. In the second color pass I render the game just like usually. I render most of the game instance like these 5000 splatters that just use this texture and each one samples one of these four versions. Then there is the environment that is rendered from roughly 2500 tiles. Then there are about 2000 normal enemies and 30 explosive enemies. And then there is a draw call for each individual bullet. They are not instanced yet at least and it's interesting to see that after rendering the first one the following ones are rendered significantly faster in like 1-2 to two microseconds. So I might not render them instanced in the future because they might not reach that critical mass where it becomes worth it. Then next I render the player and then I render the light map on top of everything. And since I use a multi sample frame buffer I have to blit that one first to the one that gets drawn on the screen. My goal is to release this game eventually in Steam and I'm going to show off some of the progress I'm making here along the way. So if you're interested in this game or in game development with a custom engine then there are and will be more videos on this channel about these topics. Until then thank you for watching and see you next time.